Here we are, it's September 9th, 2022. This is my weekly market update. And what's happening in the last week? We've seen interest rates continuing to go up on mortgages. Matter of fact, we saw yesterday on Thursday that F Freddie Mac announced its weekly survey and they said interest rates were the highest they'd been at an average of 5.83%. Now, the truth is that's an average of 583 and that average was based on results that were surveyed on Monday and Tuesday and rates have continued to move up. In a lot of situations, we're well into the 6% range. People are worried right now saying, oh my gosh, John, it's just too expensive to own a home. Well, the truth is you have to make a personal decision about what you can afford. But there are a lot of people right now that are taking advantage of this opportunity. So I recorded a video. You'll find it in the playlist either over here or down below where you're going to see um, uh, one of the videos is to buyers just talking about, hey, if you're a home buyer right now, what should you be thinking and should you be worried? I did another video that you're going to see that is to homeowners. And so if you're a homeowner, uh, by the way, in the homeowner video, I talk about HomeBot. If you're not signed up for HomeBot, you should. It's free. It's a bank statement for your mortgage. You get it every single month and it gives you an update on what's happening with your mortgage and your principal payment and how much money you've saved and a whole bunch of cool stuff free of charge, courtesy of me. So make sure to check out those videos. We're going to see a lot of volatility. The Fed is going to raise interest rates again at the end of this month. They're meeting on the 20th and the 21st. We're likely to see a three quarter percent increase. So if you've got a home equity line of credit that's variable and all lines of credit are, you're going to see the rate going up. You've got credit cards, you're going to see that rate continuing to go up. Now would be a good time to talk about a debt consolidation loan. Maybe it's a, maybe if you have a really, really low mortgage and you need only a small amount of debt consolidation, I can help you decide if you should get a cash out refinance, a home equity line of credit or a home equity loan. As a matter of fact, I have a great video I recorded a few months back that talks about that. And I'll link that in today's playlist as well, or you'll see it in the list down below that talks about home equity loans, lines of credit and cash out. This is a great time to think about that because as interest rates are continuing to move up, taking a defensive step of consolidating may be a very, very good idea. We are not at the end of this storm. Okay, we're not. We're gonna see inflation still being a challenge. We're gonna see the Fed continuing to raise interest rates. The Fed said this morning, that they think the economy is resilient and they're going to sucker punch us in the gut. They're going to raise interest rates a whole lot because so far they've raised interest rates a lot and it hasn't caused inflation to go up, which has been the Fed's concern is, hey, I'm going to solve inflation by raising rates. I, I think I said a second ago, it didn't cause inflation to go up. The Fed, let me back up. I'm not editing this, by the way. So the Fed thinks they can give us a sucker punch because they've raised rates so far this year and it hasn't caused unemployment to go up. That's been the fear. The fear has been that when the Fed raises rates to fix inflation, they're going to slow down the economy and employers are going to start laying people off in droves and we're going to see a spike in unemployment. And this morning, the Fed said, hey, the economy is responding pretty good. It's kind of like a doctor saying, hey, you know what? We've given the patient a pretty high level of, of, of antibiotics and drugs to combat the infection and their body seems to be reacting pretty well to it but the infection's not going away. So let's triple the number of drugs that we're giving them because we're pretty sure the body can handle it. It might end up slipping into a coma, but you know it's a healthy 25 year old adult. So therefore we think they're gonna recover just fine in the end. That's literally what the Fed said this morning. So you have to understand it's going to get worse before it gets better. I did a video, almost an hour long video today kind of a fireside chat. I should have had my background being a fireside, a fireplace, but it was, it was about the economy, but I didn't pull up a single statistic. I didn't pull up a single chart. It was me talking like I talked to a friend about what's really happening with the economy. What is going to happen with this recession and why does it matter? And how do I make sure that I'm not participating in this recession? So please check out that video. That's also going to be linked either over here on the, on the side or down below in the description. Uh, but Check it out because there is so much going on right now and so much fear and uncertainty that people don't know how to react. So if you have, you know, it's about an hour, but I think it's really good for you to have some ammunition to fight the demons in your mind and fight the demons in other people's minds about the fear of what's happening. Because as I just said a minute ago, it's going to get worse before it gets better. So we need to make sure our mind is right and that we're prepared to deal with the things that are coming because we're in for some turmoil. I'm going to be here to keep guiding you. So please make sure that you like and subscribe. Send this out to everybody that you know. Share it with them so they can follow me and keep um, abreast of all of the changes that are going on and help me share my knowledge with as many people as you possibly know.
Thanks. Have a wonderful weekend and call me if you need a mortgage. That's what I'm here for. Thanks. Bye-bye.